Hey RCA, I just want to take a moment and just look back at this past Sunday to where I was able to share with you on four lies that Korcha tries to tell us about our finances versus what God's Word says. And there's a few points that I want to focus on a little bit. And the first point I want to go back to was one of the lies that Korcha tells us is that you are your mistake. I want to just encourage you that you are not a mistake, that the things that we get in the past, hey, guess what? When we accepted Christ, He washed us away and we can daily ask for forgiveness of that aspect. So I want to encourage you, if you have struggled in the past with finances in any type of way, don't beat yourself up. Hey, guess what? That's what grace is for. And I just want to encourage you to walk in the grace that God is giving each and every one of us. And I also want to encourage you, if you have been struggling in any way financially or whatnot, and just don't feel like you don't have it all together and feel like that you're hitting a wall, hey, communicate with us. We would love to sit down with you, talk with you. And I know that that could be challenging and that could be rough, but hey, there is freedom in that. And the enemy wants to hold you back from being able to, to walk in the freedom that God has given us in every aspect of our life, including our finances. And then also another one was looking at the marriage and how marriage and finances can be very challenging at a time because court, what courtship tells us is we deserve everything and hey, you can you make it, so guess what? Go get it. And another one is, hey, keep your finances separate. But that's not what God's Word speaks to us. He speaks us to become one in every aspect of who we are. So I want to encourage you, walk in that oneness today. Don't let the enemy come in and try to put a wedge into your uh, marriage through finances because he can easily do that. But if we keep God in the center, if we keep him around, if we pray together as couples, and if we... Uh, study God's Word together, we will draw closer and it closes that door and the avenue that the enemy will want to try to come in because you've heard the saying, if you give the devil an inch, guess what? He's going to take a mile. And we don't want that. We want to be able to give God every aspect. So couples, let's walk hand in hand with every aspect, including our finances. And the final one is, hey, you only live once. So make the most of it, which that point is true. We, we do only live once because we're making the most of what God has given us, not what society tells us we need, but what God has given us on being generous, on being faithful, on being obedient in every aspect of what we have, because guess what? It's all God's anyway. He's just giving it to us to store, and so we just want to be thankful and blessed. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this word. Tune in this coming Sunday, 9.30 or 11 a.m. for part three on Keep the Change.